Leon Panetta has his work cut out if, as expected, he's confirmed as the next Pentagon chief. The next Secretary of Defense will face an extraordinarily complex set of demands. At Panetta's Senate confirmation hearing, he laid out global challenges, and not just in Iraq and Afghanistan. I think we do have to pay attention to these nodes that are developing. Uh, where al-Qaeda has uh, moved some of its operations, places like Yemen, uh, Somalia, North Africa. Yemen is a growing trouble spot. Home of an al-Qaeda affiliate, officials say poses the most immediate threat to the U.S. and where American jets recently launched an airstrike on suspected insurgents. Of course, al-Qaeda also remains in Iraq. Panetta says about 1,000 fighters are still there. Uh, it, it too continues to be a fragile situation. And he expects Baghdad to ask for U.S. troops to stay in Iraq past this year's pullout deadline. Panetta says he sees rebel progress in Libya amid an increase in NATO strikes on Muammar Gaddafi's forces. I think there are some signs that if we continue the pressure, if we stick with it, that ultimately uh, Gaddafi, or Gaddafi will step down. And that Libyan rebels will be able to keep the nation stable when that happens. On Afghanistan, Panetta says he agrees with the president's call for a significant troop withdrawal starting next month, with a caveat. There's no question we ought not to take any steps that risk the gains that uh, have been made. But some lawmakers are worried. I would agree with Secretary Gates that any drawdown should be modest. I would prefer there to be no withdrawal until it is clear that the gains that we've made will not be reversed. Among allies, Germany is urging the U.S. not to risk NATO's strategy by pulling out too many troops. Defense Secretary Robert Gates looked to soothe any fears at an alliance meeting in Belgium. I assured my fellow ministers there will be no rush to the exits on our part, and we expect the same from our allies. If confirmed, Panetta would take over for Gates next month. Sagar Magani, Associated Press, the Pentagon.